So, what a surprise. Uh, yet another carrier closes its doors with no warning. What do I tell people? Always have money available in case a place closes. Just because you might need to find another job. Who closed this time? Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your private equity host. And land air in the northeast of Vermont based carrier has nothing to do with uh, the covenant based land air transport or any of that, okay? Uh, nothing to do with them. This is a northeast based carrier. Uh, they also work into Canada. They do some hazmat and some other stuff up there. Okay, 135 drivers, boom, doors closed, just like that. And what happened? They're owned by a private equity firm. No notice. People couldn't even log in their computers. They come in, can't even log in. Had no idea. So, um, and they had 148 tractors also. They've been open for over 50 years. So this isn't, people say, well, my company's been open a long time. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't matter how long your place has been open. It doesn't matter that, uh, you know, they're the best place ever. You love your boss. And all. It doesn't, none of that matters. Okay. They can just close just like that. So don't think like just because of any of these things, your place can't close. And we see, of course, bought by a private equity firm, and then it's just closed. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if people know that, okay? So I can't give legal advice, but the WARN Act, Worker Adjustment Retraining and Notification Act, means you have to give more than, you have to give 60 days notice or pay 60 days of pay if you're gonna lay off or close and you have 50 people or more, okay, generally. So this place, and plus all the people in the office, nobody's working. <laughs> so did they give notice? No. Could they be reached for comment? No. Are they gonna do anything? No, probably not because there's no teeth in this. I think companies, not just truck companies, but all companies subject to this should have to bond to it. Bond to this if it's the law. They don't just get to say, well, it's too, too bad. So these drivers, what they need to do, of course, is contact a licensed attorney, get together and get their 60 days of pay. Because do you think they're gonna get paid next Friday? Do you think they're gonna get paid next Friday? They'll be lucky to get paid on their next paycheck for any work they actually did, much less for the 60 days of pay that they are owed by uh, under the law. So always have money ready. And if your company, and I think there've been some in the recent past year that have been bought by private equity, haven't they? or under control of private equity, yeah, huh. Really think hard about that and be ready because this is not the first case of this and it will not be the last case where this kind of thing happens, all right? So just be ready. There's a group that uses some slogan, be prepared, yeah. They have a pretty good idea on that. Well, I'm not owned by a private equity firm, so I'll be back. Thanks for watching, and we will be back soon with more Trucking Answers.